Hi, I'm Becky Taylor, and I am here with Stephen Watts of Dotsero. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We've had Dotsero open the Winter Park Jazz Festival for so many years. You guys, what we found out, we do polls every year, and your name is always at the top of the list for who people want to say. You're a national act. You live here in Denver, but people say Dotsero every single time. How's that feel? Feels great, <laughs> especially with a festival like Winter Park Jazz Festival. It's just um, a world-class festival, um, and I'm lucky enough to have it in our own backyard. And so you've had many years of being here at the festival. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are the guy that goes out in the audience. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're playing your sax, and you just weave your way all the way around. Do you ever get affected by the? No, I mean I don't. I mean I I. Um, I, I like to uh, like to give the other guys a little bit of a hard time sometimes because because I do I am so used to it mm -hmm. and then I run I run it um, at Denver uh, altitude so I, the altitude really doesn't affect me that much when I go to sea level I've got more air than I know what to do with um, <laughs> but uh, no I the altitude doesn't affect me but I understand um, uh -huh. when I was younger it, I used to have to uh, when I came up to the mountains be here for a day before I went higher wow. so, but wow. um, I, I guess the adrenaline kind of kicks in. Well, it's always good to see because, you know, I mean, you play a horn, and so you've got to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, know, yeah. but highlights from this year and everything that uh, happened for our 30th anniversary and, and knowing that the fans want you guys year after year? Well, that that and that knowing that, that um, the people are wanting to see us and, and getting to talk to the fans one-on-one -on -one and, and saying, you know, as a musician, when, when somebody comes up and says to you that your music touch them in some way that I mean that pretty much does it all that says it all yeah. I mean, because then you can't do anything more than that mm -hmm. and to be able to make a living at it is, is great um, highlights of this year um, are just getting to, to see my idol um, Dave Sanborn um, he's always going to be my first and most favorite saxophone player um, highlights um, it, it getting to be getting to see Charlie Wilson and um, just being, um, and I think one of the, and to share the show, our show, with um, the First Lady of Denver, uh, Mary Louise yeah. Lee, was very special. I mean, yeah, and I, uh, I think it's the beginning of something that we could continue. So. Yeah, well, thank you so much. We'll do it again next year. I hope so. And I know you guys are going to do Catalina this year again, yeah. and you have so many national shows. So your website, because people want to keep up with you. You know, there were a lot of people from out of state, and they were like, who is this group? So let, and we told them to follow us on Facebook, so your website, so people can follow your schedule. And Yeah, it's docero.org, and, and the thing is, is how we can, I mean, we're not trying to keep it a secret. Uh, I mean, we've been at this for 25 years now, so. so wow, almost, so. almost as long as the festival. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so. you don't look a day over 26. Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> thank you, Steve. See ya, thank you.